My next guest is one of my favorite guests for a talk show, but he's also just one of my favorite performers on the planet. He can just do everything. He is a brilliant star from stage, from screen, and from television. Uh, he can now add photographer and author to his long list of talents. You guys have to check out this book. I am obsessed. I am buying a case of them to give to my friends for the holidays. It is so cool. It's a beautiful book from Rizzoli. It's called You Gotta Get Bigger Dreams. Please welcome back to our show the one and only Alan Cumming. <laughs> This is a book of Alan's life in stories and pictures, and I, I was so hoping that I wouldn't be one of those stories because I never thought Alan would come back after the last visit when I let him do the entire segment with the, thing with the tag <laughs> on his jacket. And I was going to say something, but I thought, it's Alan coming, that must be chic. <laughs> no, it's Alan coming, he's a geek. Oh, I was so embarrassed, oh, I'm I, so I, sorry. I imagine how I felt, yeah. <laughs> You know, our staff and I were just discussing today that it, you really do go through kind of a withdrawal when a great show with fantastic writing that was so smart, such as The Good Wife, mm. when it leaves your life, it's like <gasps> mm. <sighs> And they even have like television commercials that make fun of that hitting a doldrum. So, uh, you know, I guess my first question is, what advice do you have for white, for um, us wivers, good wifers? <laughs> um, you know, what are you doing next and what do we have to look forward to? And, and, and what are you watching that you think is fantastic? Well, I mean, I've sort of, it's funny actually, because I've been thinking about that, about the fact that we're not doing it anymore, because you know, by this point in the, sh in the year, we would be back at it. But That's now, right. We went, usually went back about the middle of July or something. Exactly. Like. Yeah. So it's a funny sort of thing, your body clock's a bit more... Right. Um, but, um, and actually I'm seeing Juliana tonight. Oh, I love her so And much. Christine, hopefully, yeah, I think so, we're going to have a wee drink. But uh, I, I do love, I do love those. I miss the people, you know, and the crew were so great. And obviously I was, we did it for seven seasons, so you get into a group. It a family. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. And, and you know, we were just talking backstage that you're going to uh, miss uh, Green Day in New York because you're off to do something. What yeah, my God, I do these, I do concerts. It's called, my concert right now is called Alan Cummings Sings Sappy Songs. <laughs> and, I, and I go down and I sing Sappy Songs and tell stories. It's sort of a cabaret evening. And I've been doing that all over the world, actually. I just came back from uh, the Edinburgh International Festival, and <sighs> I'm going back to do some sh the London Palladium and stuff like that. So that's why I'll miss the, the, Fabulous. the Green Day night. But I really do enjoy that. Like, it's a really great way to connect with an audience. And it's as me being me rather than being a character. Exactly. So it's, it's a, you it's get a one chance. more kind right. of, you know, you're closer and you're more intimate. And well, that's I really what I like loved it. about this book. That's what I love so much about this book is the intimacy. It's it's such a, an interesting group of really cool photography, a like group of pictures that is just beautiful. And you know, Rosso and I, my producer and I, were chit chatting backstage. You like were doing the selfie decades before the selfie was cool. I know. And they're, and they're like the best. <laughs> they're like the best selfies ever. It's like. Feet always from and above. dog paws, you yeah, know, yeah, and always yeah. from above if the head's in it's it. It's so funny. I always, because, like, you know, people ask me for selfies all the time, and I'm always, like, lighting. Yeah. So, like, here, but it's <laughs> yeah. a big light up light there. Light Always from above, above, so you don't get a chance. Yes, no double chance. And, uh, <laughs> but I, I used to do selfies before we had phones and our cameras. Right, and right, I was right. like, it's harder to do when it's your camera, and the wee button and everything. And I, because, in, in, you know, looking at these photos for this book, I went back into all my files from decades ago. It was something I quite liked about just turning it around and seeing what else was in the room behind me. Yeah, and I, I, I love that so many of them are just of pieces of a story. It's like a visit. You can pick it yeah. up and read a bit, and then pick it up a few hours. That's that's what later. I was hoping people would do. Like, you'd just be one of these books that you would like just dip in and out of, and you could read the whole thing at once if you liked. And it's the, even the dedication. You know, uh, it, it was just beautiful because it was for your dog and your partner. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, and oh, look. Oh, that's honey. That's honey. Yeah. Oh, there's honey again. I love that picture. Uh, it's honey's paws in the beginning, right? With the feet and the paws. Uh, yeah, the cover. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. That's honey. I know oh, she'd just so done precious. a terrible thing in that afternoon. That was her looking cute, but she'd just eaten a whole bag of uh, pork scratchings. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I love that that's the connection in the book, you know? Yeah. Th there's, there's something for everyone in it. Well, I also wanted, you know, because it's about... I think it's interesting to write about your 
life. You talk about your life every day, oh, yeah, and, and I think that's a really important thing to share. That's you know, and I, I enjoy. I think I have quite an extraordinary life, especially considering where I'm from and what I thought my life was going to be like. And I like writing about it, but I also want to do it in a way that's not just I was born and then this happened. And <laughs> right, that happened, and right. happened. So using photos is a really good way to do that. And also, I, I have like photos of crazy sort of Hollywood glamorous things, but also like a road trip with my dog. You know, I wanted it right. to be the whole sort of spectrum. It's very accessible. It's beautiful.